Hello my people, if you're looking for a lunch or dinner inspiration, come with me, let's prepare these delicious roasted chicken leg waters with fried plantains and sauteed veggies. It doesn't get any more balanced than this. To season the chicken leg waters, you need these. I'll list them all below because I already see that some ingredients are missing here. And for the sauteed veggies, you need these. Then you need chicken leg quarters and ripe but firm plantains. I'll start by preparing the ingredients. Rinse the spinach very well. You can use any leafy green of your choice. Kale, ogo, that's Nigerian pumpkin leaves, green amaranth. I like to pick out these stalks. I've never liked them since my childhood. Spinach contains too much nutrients anyway. Then rinse the green and red bell pepper and the onions. Some of these are for seasoning the chicken, while some are for the sauteed veggies. Rinse the plantains too, yes. If you know where these plantains have been before they got to you, eh? Then clean the chicken leg waters like so. There's always this scale, is it scale that I should call it, at the end of the chicken waters. They're not so obvious, but if you scrape it, you'll see it come off. I don't know why they will clean the chicken so well, but don't remove that part. By the way, these are soft chicken. You know I prefer hard chicken because it tastes better, but soft chicken is not bad when baked. I go for it when preparing this sort of meal because it bakes quicker. Okay, here I'm chopping the onions, red and green bell pepper for the marinade. For the spices, I have suya spice, curry powder, salt, onion powder, and thyme. Then add a little water and mix. Suya spice is spicy because it contains pepper. Another name for it is suya pepper. I have a recipe on my channel for that, but if you don't have it or you can't make it, you can use a mix of peanut butter, ginger powder, seasoning cubes, and cayenne pepper, or even black pepper to get a similar taste. Put everything in a jug. and use an immersion blender to blend it. You can also use a normal blender for this. Just be mindful of the amount of water you add. Next, make these incisions on the chicken quarters, then place in a baking pan, and pour in the marinade. And mix. I washed my hands, so if you are preparing this for the public, please follow whatever safety rules that are applicable where you live.
Cover it and keep in the fridge to marinate for at least 30 minutes. Next, I'm going to prepare the ingredients for the sauteed veggies. Chop the red bell peppers. This is how I slice and separate the onions. When the chicken has been marinating for at least 30 minutes, I put it in the oven while still covered and bake at 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 F. After 30 minutes, I remove the fall cover and continue baking. Then prepare the plantains for frying. You can slice them any way you want. I'm going for the classic fried plantain slices. Add some salt, sprinkle a little water, toss, toss, toss. Then deep fry till golden. After 1 hour 15 minutes of baking the chicken quarters, that's what we have. I saute the green veggies last so they do not change color by the time I serve it. I'm using olive oil. Add the red bell pepper. the onions the mushrooms just saute each one for a bit and add the next Add salt, black pepper, click the like button and add the spinach. This spinach can produce water, eh? Hey. It needs more salt and pepper. Mm. 
then save click the like button if you're inspired this is great for lunch or dinner i know some people who can eat it for breakfast bye bye see you soon